Well, we'll be on this subject a long time. I noticed the volume on that previous one wasn't right. It was too low. That's why I'm talking loud. Uh, so, uh, yeah. It looked like the wood from the, the, that series of atmospheric rivers that came through recently is, is more wood than the Montecito mudslide wood. <laughs> Amazing. People gathering it just like we did that time. Now, where did I leave off? I was talking about, remember, the trick. They tell you, well, you can't, your RV's too big to fit in su such and such a place. Drive through the park first and see if you have a situation where you could possibly back in. And um, uh, that be the case, uh, fit. Could have been doing that all these years, although I didn't camp all that many times. It's just such a pity. Uh, well, at least I found out when I did. And that chances are I'll never have an RV again running. My one is up there. That same RV is up there, up the hill, so to speak. Well, okay, going back to whether it was, I'm, I think it was 2007. Um, sometime in around uh, September, we did finally leave and go on down the road. And, uh, but yeah, that was... Uh, my first experience living here, albeit on the side of the road in the RV. Then there was another time that I did live in a uh, apartment. Could have been it's more more like a condo, but it was I was leasing it. That was another time, and then there was a time when I lived here and had nothing but. Uh, few days left on a rental and I wound up uh, most of the time just sleeping on the in somebody's parking lot in an abandoned building little abandoned place and some other places side of the freeway where they're working on the freeway <laughs> under an orange bush, orange blossom bush. <coughs> There's a cold wind blowing. Uh, there's a, just a system coming in, not expecting any rain at all here, maybe a little bit uh, in the north, northern area of this coast. <laughs> 